Hello friends and welcome back to another showdown special on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we're going to be continuing on with this Rayquaza. Xerneas team that we've been playing the last couple of days, as always, the team is down in the description below. We haven't made any tweaks since our last episode, but we'll continue on today, see if there's anything else that we would like to tweak going forward. I'm still thinking about possibly putting something like low kick or on the Incineroar or high jump kick on the Serena. Maybe going back to Berry on the Incineroar and... Uh, would you believe it? I think this is a similar team to what we played in our, our previous episode. So the Fling Whimsicott... Uh, sorry, Fling Weavile. Why am I talking whimsical here? Um, which is a little bit awkward to get around. So, how are we going to deal with it? Uh, Incineroar is quite nice here because we saw how useful it was uh, just throwing the snarls out constantly on our opponent in the last game. Um, do I want to go on my own? Xerneas, I think Xerneas is quite nice in general to have here. Um, we definitely want Ray. And do I want... Because the there's so much emphasis around fake out support on this on my opponent's team. It might be nice to have the the Serena here as well. Um, yeah, and I think I'll lock in with that and we'll go with this. I think we've got enough to kind of tackle uh, what my opponent's got. The, the question is like whether or not we want Gastrodon in for the clear smog. Like, and I keep coming back to thinking how useful Gastrodon could be in this corn. We've seen it perform so well in these X-ray teams previously. Um, but uh, I don't know, I don't know, like it's so conflicting with Serena and it, it, Serena's not really a slot right now that I feel like I'd want to give up for Amoongus. Uh, the Queenly Majesty ability is just too good in my opinion anyway, uh, just to kind of give up so freely. So we'll stick with it at the minute, uh, we'll keep tweaking away with this team as well because I think like, I originally started with Coco on the team, then I switched out Coco, I put Tapu Fini in there, and it was nice, but it was really passive. Whereas the Coco gives you that really good pressure against things like Mega Salamence, Ultra Necrozma, um, opposing Rayquazas as well. Um, and we do, we do see the uh, the Weavile Xerneas come out for my opponent. So, I mean, we've got the trading fake out situation here, which we can go for. So, I, I will just go for the fake out here, and I just go for the Geomancy as well with our Xerneas. Be interested to see what the Weavile goes for here. We know it's probably got um, Fake Out, Fling. We know it's got Knock Off as well, actually. Knock Off is a bit of a problem for us to deal with. Um, which makes things a little bit more awkward for us. Because I don't really want to lock into the Geomancy and then have a two turn Geomancy if my opponent's able to get theirs off the next turn. Although they have to kind of expend a turn doing that. We'll go for it anyway, because. If they go for the knockoff here, then uh, we get the fake out onto their Xerneas. So they have to go for their Geomancy the next turn. Uh, I'd imagine they'll probably go for the knockoff now, which is the big thing. So this is where I want to snarl and just dazzle, I think, rather than get caught out with trying to get a Geomancy boost up of our own and losing out to a knockoff Weavile. And we're not actually going to see that, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, but at the same time, we're going to get some damage off. There's a Geomancy. Uh, okay, and I think what we could potentially do this next turn is preserve our, our Xerneas, switch into Serena and go for another Snarl. The Incineroar is definitely going to go for a fake out here to try and support the Xerneas. I don't expect the Xerneas to protect this turn because of the fake out, so it does give us the opportunity to go for another Snarl here, which is nice. Um, and really just neuter that Xerneas' ability to, to do anything. We'll go for another Snarl and go for a U-turn, potentially. Um, U-turn on the Incineroar, yeah. Okay, so we'll take that with both. Nice. Should get a U-turn off, and this opens a door up for us to get Rayquaza in, um, and we can go for, potentially. Well, I say that, the, the Weavile's gonna come in now for my opponent, but the Xerneas is pretty weak. Okay, uh, the Lunala coming in, that's fine. I really don't mind that. And I probably don't want to go for the extreme speed just yet. I probably want to go for another Snarl and switch Ray into Serena again, I think. Just because Serena's kind of like the fodder I can afford to get rid of right now. We're going to see the Incineroar come back in, my opponent. Uh, Moonblast, 
that's fine. I mean, Serena takes that like a champ, doesn't it? And this Xerneas is pretty useless right now. Uh, we can go for, I think, a U-turn into the Incineroar and possibly double U-turn there. I'm going to see another um, Dazzle come out, uh, proc a berry on this Incineroar, which is fine. Uh, we'll get Ray in now. Um, the idea is going to be to get uh, potentially Serena onto the field. Um, if the Weavile comes in, which I'd imagine it probably is going to be the Weavile now. It could be the Lunala Weavile. U turn there is going to be nice damage. Um, and do we bring in Xerneas now and go for our own Geomancy? Problem is doing that. Um, yeah, I don't really want to do that. I'll bring in Serena. It's just that knockoff threat I do worry about quite a bit. Uh, Alright, uh, let's go for a. Helping Hand, Mega Evolve, Extreme Speed into Xerneas. We should take whatever the Weavile's going to throw out at us. They can't fake us out. There we go. Bye-bye, Zern. So, ah, excellent. Fling comes out now, and uh, we do win. So, good game, sir. We take this one. We take those. So, that's a nice start for us today. We get back around. Uh, Incineroar really coming in really important for us in that one and I think just starting with it and getting those snarls off from the start just shows how, how useful it is against the pausing Xerneas. So we've got uh, Reindeer Corp coming up next uh, support cast of Salamence, so double Intimidate there with the Incineroar and then double Tapus as well um, huh. Gastrodon going to be quite useful here I think uh, our own Tapu Corp are going to be quite useful as well uh, Got to worry about the uh, pause and Xerneas though. I mean, our own Xerneas isn't too bad if we go Xerneas and Cineral. Serena, we could go Serena here. Um, but then we're not bringing Gastrodon, and I think we could probably do with. We don't need Gastrodon, we can go Ray, I think. Yeah, let's do this. Um, <laughs> I mean, do we just Geomancy and fake out the, the opposing Xerneas here? I mean, there's no reason not to. I mean, the Xerneas on my opponent's end could protect, I guess, but, I mean, we get a free Geomancy off, and I don't really mind that they get the Tailwind up at all here. Um, because now, uh, we just Dazzle and Snarl, I think. Yeah. And they, they're they probably going to go off. For, oh, they're not. Okay. That's fine. I mean, this is like super fine. As long as our Snarl hits the opposing Xerneas. Yeah. Xerneas walls begin. Um, and then we just go Dazzle and switch in Serena because the Incineroar is undoubtedly going to go for that fake out. This is why Serena is so good. It just limits your opponent. It's options to try and disrupt your side of the field and now you get a Dazzle off, get rid of the Xerneas, chunk that Incineroar nicely. Um, and they've got one turn in. Tailwind left. The Kyogre going to come in. Um, but like, still super fine, isn't it? Really, we could uh, help in hand dazzle because we'll add speed ball. Um, yeah, and we'll probably just do that. Switching out Incineroar to the men's going to lose that. Kyogre taking a big chunk and just the yeah water spout which we eat up for breakfast and uh, yeah, good game. Good game, sir. Okay, we'll be we'll carry on. Uh, under Ultra Ultra Ladder Man is a, a username. Um, so we've got our next opponent, uh, Duskman and Kyogre. Always a core I really like, and one that Geo was running, I think, earlier in the season. Whenever I played him, and I really did like this core. Uh, Kyogre obviously gives the Duskman a lot of protection. Uh, paired up here with the Gyarados for the Intimidate support, which is an interesting choice. Could be potentially Mega. Um, this important cast to follow me. Oh, Rage Powder users, redirection Pokemon, Togekiss, and Amoongus. You've got Tailwind support there from the Togekiss, potentially the Cartana as well. Um, but I do like Coco here. Uh, it does a lot of work against the majority of this team, except that Amoongus, Coco, and Rayquaza I'm going to lead with. And um, I think in the back. And sorry if you can hear shouting in the background. Tasha just come back with my keys and wallet. So, um, what we're going to have in the back, I think we will have um, Xerneas and let's see. 
in cinema. I can't think. I can even hear Thea in the background crying. This is probably gonna go. <laughs> this is all gonna go wrong. Um, right. Let's go Volt Switch and let's go. Oh, we could go. Could we go Earthquake? What we got? What we got? No, <laughs> we can't go Earthquake. Um, let's go Volt Switch into the Togekiss. Uh, we could go Dragon Ascent as well. And we could go Crunch into the Dusk Moon. It's just it's. I don't think he'd follow me here. I'm gonna go Crunch actually. Yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Don't protect. Okay, okay, we're probably gonna see a trick room, I think. We'll bring an Incineroar anyway, so that'll help us out massively. Crunch. Ah, oh, it's pretty whiffy, really. And a weakness policy activate, and there's a trick room. Okay. Um, the attack boost isn't really ideal for us here. I mean, what do we do? Uh, I'm gonna have to U turn, I think, out and sacrifice something. Um, do we want to keep around? Probably Coco more than anything, so I'm going to bring in Xerneas here. Uh, we'll go for a U-turn out onto the Amoongus, and we'll bring in Xerneas here. Like I say, I want to preserve Coco for later in this match. Um, okay, we're going to see the Necrozma just go for... Um, okay, the Amoongus going for a spore here. It's not going to work, my friend. Get Coco in. Um, and we'll protect Coco. We'll bring in Incineroar again. We've got to just kind of... Maneuver around the board as best we can at the minute. Get rid of this weakness policy boost on this Necrozma. I'm going to worry about Earth Power as well on it because it potentially has got access to that. Uh, since he'll strike into the Incineroar, but I'm not going to do too much here. So the Sludge Bomb is a bit of an issue, but we can bring Ray back in here and go for a fake out into that Necrozma. Just to shut it down, we're just trying to stall out these Tailwind turns here. Uh, Kyogre going to hit the field. It's fine, we could have went for a Flare Blitz there. Um, but unfortunately not going for that. Um, that's fine. I think we will go for a, a one turn of Trick Room left. We've done pretty well to get through this so far. We could just extreme speed and snarl. Um, it might be nice just to really start damaging my opponent's side of the field. We'll get this snarl off, weaken the Kyogre, uh, since he'll strike. Not going to do as much as we kind of expected to. Origin Pulse, we do survive, so we're in a really decent position here. Um, it's just about stopping this Trick Room now. We can Extreme Speed the Kyogre, Flare Blitz into the Necrozma. There is the risk of the Amoongus uh, or the Togekiss coming in our Kyogre slot for sure, but we're putting enough pressure on this Kyogre now to protect our Incineroar. And uh, the Flare Blitz should be enough. Yeah, uh, we actually, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, nice damage there. Um, but we're not going to be able to really deny my opponent getting another Trick Room up. That's the problem. So we're probably better off. Ooh, okay. Uh, Moong is coming out. Uh, I think I'll switch into Coco here. Um, and I'm going to pivot out into... I'm going to pivot. We could see a Tailwind, potentially. Uh, I want to get the terrain back up on the field. And depending on... Um, well, it might be better off getting Xerneas in now. Just to get some damage on this Togekiss. But we want to protect our array for later on. We're just going to say Rage Powder. There's a Tailwind. That's interesting. Uh, because both these Pokemon are going to be slower than really what we've got out to be. Yeah, we'll bring in Ray. Because um, we've got the extreme speed that we can go for. Um, but the Moongus is the issue here, of course. Uh, let's bring in Incineroar for Core. How do we bring in it? Coco. We would just Volt Switch. Volt Switch on the uh, Togekiss and bring in the Incineroar here. I think that would be a better play in general. Um, uh, slash. Do you just survive? We get rid of the Togekiss, which is nice. The Amoongus, what are you going to do? We'll bring in Xerneas just because of that spore threat there. Sludge Bomb coming out does a nice chunk. Um, Tailwind, a little bit of an issue, but we do have Fake Out going into this turn, so we could potentially. Go for a Geomancy here, um, and it might be the best thing to do with this access to Fake Out. I don't think a Sludge Bomb will get Xerneas after a Geomancy. I think we'll be all right. Uh, we should add speed. Let's see. Is he moving? How fast is that? Okay, Rage Powder. That's fine. Um, yep, Geomancy, and this should be all right because we can just Flare Blitz and my opponent just forfeiting. So, uh, yeah. 
very good game, and uh, I will be right back, my friends, because I'm just going to pop downstairs and see Tash get my wallet and my keys, so we'll be right back in a moment, so I'll see you in a sec. Right, friends, we are back, so we'll get straight back into it now. I have no idea about that last game, even though it will seem like just a second ago you guys. I've, uh, I'm coming back to it now, so we'll jump back into it. I'm wondering whether or not to change up a team for the rest of the week, but maybe it's good just to stick with it to see how far we can actually push it on the ladder. That'll be quite good. Next, we've got Ray Olga with uh, Spawncast, Incineroar, Tapu, Lele, Crobat, and Ferrothorn. Um, hmm, the Lele causes quite a few issues for us, but, uh, I mean, Coco's still alright here, kind of, it will determine whether or not the Lele is scarfed or not, which I would expect it probably is. Um, Serena's decent as well here, Gastrodon's actually really good, the Ferrothorn causes us a lot of issues, of course, um, but I do like Gastrodon a lot. I really do actually. No, yeah, it's actually really quite good. Um, I might bring Incineroar Coco. Um, I don't think I'm going to bring Xerneas here. Uh, Gastrodon and Ray, I think, are going to be the ones that I pick. Yeah, so we'll lock in with those. We'll see where we go with it. Scoff Lele is always one of those Pokemon that always causes me so many issues. Um, when I'm building teams, it's always something I kind of forget about in team building. It's such an important Pokemon to really incorporate within your building, I think. It can put so much pressure on. It is really frustrating to deal with. Right, now what do we do? Do we go for a fake out and uh, just Volt Switch into the Crobat? Uh, the thing is, though, we'll probably see the Mega Rayquaza. Um, it probably will Mega Evolve. It could be a Salt Fest as well. I'm going to go for the Twinkle Tackle into it, and I'm just going to go for a U turn into the Crobat here. I uh, want to keep Incineroar on the back, get this Intimidate back in on this Ray in case it is a physical variant. Okay, so it does Mega Evolve, we get the Speed Tie, we win, uh, it is a Salt Fest Ray, so uh, that's nice information for us. We are going to lose Corpo, unfortunately, but it does give us the opportunity to get our own Ray in and uh, get Incineroar back onto the field as well. Um, and we're in a nice position to go for an Extreme Speed into the Rayquaza, although I feel like the Rayquaza probably switches out here. Um, we might be better going for a Snarl, Mega Evolve, and Dragon Ascent into the Crobat. The only problem here, I think, would be a Super Fang, Dragon Ascent from the opposing Ray. Um, but it's quite risky going for that, knowing that we can fake out the opposing Ray anyway. Tapu Lele gonna come in. That's fine. Um, yeah. Ooh, ta Taunt. What? Okay. I don't really understand why you would taunt a Rayquaza, but there's Snarl coming in. So useful for us there. Problem is when Ray comes back in now, yeah, it's it's a, it's a little trickier. And uh, we'll go for you to into the Lele. We'll switch in Gastrodon. Uh, we'll preserve our Ray. Our Ray is going to be like the big kind of the big gun for us here. We need to make sure that we're making the most out of Rayquaza going into these ladder turns to deal with everything. Earth Power coming out, doing some decent damage there. And a Z move into Gastrodon. Do we take it? We do. Um, I wish we had a berry there. Um, and we're going to be able to get Ray back in. Um, I think, I think, I think. We'll go for an extreme speed into Rayquaza. We'll bring in Incineroar for Gastrodon here. Um, what do we? Do we? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It works out better now, actually, doing this. <laughs> Okay, there's the extreme speed into Ray, we'll get rid of it. We are locked into, uh, we know that the, the Lele is not scarfed either, so I think that's quite a nice thing to have. We can just flare bits the Ferrothorn. Uh, we'll probably see a Moonblast from the Lele here, I imagine. But I want to, oh, could we just go for an extreme speed into the Lele? Is that going to be enough? With a flare blitz, probably it's probably a better play to be honest. The extreme speed should get a Lele from this range, unless it's like super bulky. And then the play that we were making, where we're going to get Ray out of here, was good, is definitely a better play. But I'm I'm confident that we get the Lele. Uh, no, we don't because yeah, the psychic terrain's up. We don't want to be foolish about this. We go for the flare blitz. We switch out. Man, what are we thinking? Forgetting about it's because yeah, it's because. The, um, yeah, uh, I can't really see the terrain when the Delta streams are. I'm blaming that. 
Um, here we get the Ferrothorn, that's nice. And then you get Ray back in and Dragon Ascent and you can snarl. And you just pick up the wing here. You just, just click on anything with this at this point. There's no tailwind and uh, we are going to be able to pick up the victory. But we'll not type just yet on our opponent. Come on, guy. Click in. Click in. My timer stopped. It feels like my internet went again, which would be horrendous if it has. No, there we go. 30 seconds to go. It's just wasting our time, really. Uh, but some players like doing this, I guess. What we'll do, we'll just start at a new game. Um, I'll wait for... Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So, yeah. Get the win. Good game. Uh, and we'll get rid of this one, and we'll go into the next one. So, uh, Ho -Oh requires a really nice, interesting combination here from my opponent. Um... Trick Room, Tailwind, Gastrodon as well. Gastrodon could be really quite useful for us, although it's not really going to be able to hit the, the hole of very good damage. That's the, the problem. Intimidate going to be really important for us, both physical type attackers, unless it is Assault Fest, which it might be, but then you're looking at the Stack Attack and the Incineroar that are also physical, so that kind of helps us a lot there. Um, I do want to lead Incineroar, actually. I think I'm going to go with that route. Coco on top. Coco's not really that great here, other than the Hall of and the Ray. So they're too restricted, so it's arguably a decent enough option to bring up top. I don't really feel like Xerneas is going to be the answer here, but then Gastrodon and Ray are probably the other better options for us, to be honest. Um, do we just fake out? the Coco and allow my opponent to get just Volt Switch into the stacker and allow them to get a Trick Room off if they want, yeah. Okay, double protect, that's fine. Um, where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? Um, I probably do want to U-turn and I probably do want to Volt Switch again. Uh, I'm just gonna double pivot out onto the stacker. See what this Coco goes for. I'll bring Gastrodon in on this Coco slot. Um, so we do deny that. This is good if a Trick Room goes up here. Um, yeah, because we'll bring Coco back in, then we can switch Incineroar back in for Coco. And there we go, yeah. So we're putting a lot of pressure on both Pokemon here. Um, now, do we go for a Twinkle Tackle into the opposing Coco, expecting maybe something like Rayquaza to come in there? I just don't see it happening now. Maybe better off keeping that for later on. We'll bring in Incineroar. We'll go for an Earth Power into the stacks. Okay. Ah, uh, we should have went for Kuko. Okay, we're gonna see the Z move Twinkle. Yeah. Um, I mean, we take that pretty comfortably now. We can go for Fake Out into stacks. It's the pressure though. That's the thing. We've got the pressure. Like, we can go for an Earth Power, I think without really worrying and a flare blitz into the Coco. Okay, we're gonna see, yeah, we could have went Ice Beam there. Um, hmm. And we would have been better going for a U-turn, for sure. <laughs> Never mind. And uh, we'll go for the U-turn now into the hot or and we will go for an Ice Beam into the Ray. Ah. <sighs> At least the Z-move's been burnt on my opponent's end. Uh, we are going to see the Delta Stream. Uh, don't do too much damage to it. No freeze either. Um, we'll bring in Coco. Going to take attacks better unless we see an Earth Power into that slot. We'll probably see a Dragon Ascent. Yeah, yeah, that's alright. Um, now we can bring in Incineroar. Get that Intimidate. Uh, probably protect Coco here. What do we? It's just the Earth Power that I worry about a little bit from the Ray. Um, and I think you turn out onto the Hot Hot. Because then we get our Rayquaza in. It's just if we see a Sacred Fire into that slot. Okay, into the Coco and then an Earth Power as well. So that's fine. And uh, now we're in a really nice position. So we just Twinkle Tackle the Ray. We should be able to get it. And then we can Dragon Ascent the Hot Hot. Yeah, I don't feel like we're in too dire position here. Uh, 
Okay, Twinkle Tackle into the Coco. I don't mind that. And uh, Dragon Ascent into the Stack Attack is alright, actually. Um, they should do a decent amount to the Coco. Actually picks up the Knockout, which is nice. I think it's a roll on most Cocos. Dragon Ascent not doing too much to the Stacker there, which is a little bit underwhelming, to be honest. Um, and they are going to be able to get the Trick Room up again. Because I... Well, a Thunderbolt and a Dragon Ascent should get the Stacker. So if the Hot Oil comes in here, then we do have that play that we can... We can take advantage of. Um, if it's the Ray, i to worry about extreme speed I guess and whether or not it's banded, but I doubt it's banded from previous... Hmm, this is tricky. Do we just go Volt Switch? It's just if we keep pivoting, it's not really doing us any favours. I kind of want to prevent the Trick Room going up. Will the Thunderbolt get stacker from here? I don't know if it will, but we'll bring an Incineroar. Extreme speed. Oh, the crit! Are you kidding? Oh, come on. That's 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 unfortunate. Um, hmm. Pointless locking into. We're gonna have to Dragon Ascent the opposing Requiser. We'll have to fake out the stacks as well. Oh, that critical hit. Okay, well, this should get the whole all. Maybe it's banned Rayquaza. Well, it's not. It's Assault Vest. It's definitely Assault Vest. We've seen. We should be able to get the Dragon Ascent KO onto, onto the Ray here. Um, and then it's Stax versus Incineroar. So, I think we might be able to kind of still pick up a win here. Still frustrated about that crit on Coco with the extreme speed, but it always happens like that. You can't really complain too much about things like this. Extreme speed, we do take. Uh, Dragon Ascent, pick up the knockout, so that's good. Flare Blitz. Jarrah and we are going to be able to pick up the win, so that is excellent for us. So I tell you what, uh, we're sitting on a rating of 13.27, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, we'll call it a day there, my friends, and uh, then we'll come back and we'll continue this on tomorrow. I'll have a think about, between now and then, any changes that I'd like to make, um, but I think we'll probably just continue on with this for the rest of the week. Do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on the team and uh, little additions that you'd like to see maybe made in the future when we come back to this series. Um, but uh, we'll call it a day there. Have a great rest of your day, whatever time of day it is where you're watching, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.